Okay, so let me solve first um, one problem here, Springer. Assuming that the floor, floor is frictionless, what is the maximum compression of the spring? Uh, we have limited time, so I'll just so, show you the solution to this problem, okay? Okay, so um, the first th question for this uh, for uh, this discussion is, assuming that the floor is frictionless, what is the maximum compression of the spring? So given a dito yung mga quantities, like, for example, the mass of the object is 5.00 kilograms. The initial velocity of, or I should say initial speed of the system is 6.00 meters per second. And the spring constant is 500 newtons per meter. Now we can define two states, one and two. Sinulat ko na dyan. So the first state is that the box is moving with some speed. And then the second state is that the box collides with the spring compressing it um, with some uh, compressing it with some um, some x. Okay? okay. Now, we only have two states. So we can um, there are no non-conservative forces acting on the system, only conservative force. Ano lang tanging force na na-consider dito? Um, gravitational potential, di ba? Gravitational potential. Okay? So, the only force acting on it is gravitational gravitational potential energy. I'm uh, sorry, elastic potential energy, therefore E1 equals E2, and we just get something like a one-half mv1 squared plus one-half kx1 squared equals one-half mv2 squared plus one-half kx2 squared. Okay? Nakuha? Nakuha yes. to? Now, um, what can we say about the initial um, elastic potential energy of the spring? So zero. Yes, zero. Because wala namang nag-interact sa spring, therefore this should only be zero. But what can we say about the final um, kinetic energy of the box? So zero. Yes, it is also zero. Why? Because um, at the maximum compression, at the maximum compression, the spring, or the, the box is at rest. Thus, we just have, hence, we ha just have a single equation here. 1 half m v1 squared equals 1 half k x2 squared. Uh, sorry, k x2 squared. The 1 half will cancel, and we will get something like an x2, which is the maximum compression of the spring, is simply v1 square root of m over k. And we can plug in the values. This is just equal to, what's the initial velocity? Um, 6 meters per second times um, the mass of the box is uh, 5 kilograms over 500 over 500 newtons per meter raised to one half. And therefore, the final answer x2 is just equal to um, the final answer. So 5 over 100. So this is simply 0. 0.6 meters. Nakuha? Nakuha yes, to? Sir. Okay, I hope you get it. No realize pa kahaba ng spring na to. 60 centimeters yung compression niya. Laki ng spring na to, di ba? <laughs> this is somewhat unrealistic sa totoo lang. Pero sige. <laughs> Questions? May tanong ba rito? Haba ng spring? So 0.6 meters. <laughs> Ngayon, mayroon sa mechanics eh. Minsan yung SI units hindi talaga physical. Ah, Hindi naman sa physical siya, pero hindi siya realistic. Anyway, sige. 